Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn the definition of matrix, what is element in a matrix, what is order of matrix and few important points and we will learn how we represent a matrix. You see, what is the definition of matrix? A rectangular arrangement of numbers is called matrix. Rectangular arrangement of numbers is called matrix. You observe here, I written numbers are functions. That I will explain these functions while when I am writing the examples. Now we will try to understand what is this rectangular arrangement of numbers with an example. Please observe these examples. You observe here, if you observe this arrangement, this arrangement is in which shape? This arrangement is in rectangle shape. We arranged these numbers in the rectangle shape. So the rectangular arrangement of numbers is called matrix. So this is a matrix or not? Yes, this is a matrix. Now you may confuse with this. You observe this matrix. You observe here, this is rectangle shape or square shape. It is a square shape. Then how it will be a matrix? What is the definition of matrix? Rectangular arrangement of numbers is called matrix. But it is a square arrangement of numbers. Is it is a matrix? Of course. Because we know that every square is a rectangle. You know that every square is a rectangle. So whatever the arrangement we done here, that is rectangular arrangement only. So is it is the example for matrix or not? Yes, it is a rectangular arrangement of numbers. That's why this is the example for matrix. You observe this. Is it is a matrix or not? Rectangular arrangement of numbers. Yes, this arrangement is rectangular arrangement. So this is example for matrix. Here I will write one more example. Please observe this. Rectangular arrangement of numbers. Numbers means mainly we have two types of numbers. One is real numbers, another one is complex number. Something if you got a matrix like this, 1 plus i, 3, i, 2 plus i. This is an example of matrix or not? Yes. Rectangular arrangement of numbers. That means these numbers may be real numbers or complex numbers. This is the example for matrix. Now you see rectangular arrangement of not only numbers, it may be functions also is called matrix. You observe this example. In this sin x is a function, 2x is a function, 4 is a constant function. So here this is rectangular arrangement of numbers or not? Yes. So you learn the definition of matrix. You observe this. Is it is a matrix? Is it is a matrix? This is not a matrix. If you observe the shape of this arrangement, it is coming like this. The shape of the arrangement is like this. This is not a rectangle. This is not a rectangle. So when you saw this type of arrangement, can we say it is a matrix? No, it is not a matrix. See, this is the first note. The numbers in a matrix are called elements. The numbers in a matrix are called elements. You see here, 1 is called an element of this matrix. 6 is called an element of this matrix. You see, 2 is an element of this matrix. Sin x. Sin x is an element in this matrix. x plus 5 is an element in this matrix. Please try to understand. The numbers are functions. The numbers are functions in a matrix are called elements. Okay. Now, you observe this matrix. In this matrix, how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 elements are there in this matrix. You observe this matrix. In this matrix, how many elements are there? 3 elements are there. 1, 2, 3. Now, we will learn about what is row and what is column in a matrix. The horizontal line of elements. The horizontal line of elements is called a row. You observe here. This is one row. Please observe this. This is a row. 1, 2, 3. This is known as first row. What is second row? Second row is 4, 5, 6. The horizontal line of elements is called row. This is known as first row. This is known as second row. And what is column? The vertical line of elements is called a column. The vertical line of elements. You observe vertical line. See this, this is one column. In this column, what elements present? 1, 4. This is second column of this matrix. This is third column of the matrix. So the vertical line of elements is called column. Okay. Now we will try to understand what is order of a matrix. If a matrix is having m rows and n columns. 
If a matrix is having m rows and n columns, we just learn what is row, what is column. If a matrix is having m rows and n columns, then we say order of the matrix is m by n. Look here clearly, m by n, which is denoted by m by n. Here, some people they read it as m into n. That is wrong. That is not m into n, which is read as m by n. If a matrix is having m rows and n columns, then we say the order of the matrix is m by n, which is denoted like this. For example, you come here. What is order of this matrix? To find order of the matrix, you identify how many rows are there. One row, first row, second row. How many rows are there? Two rows are there. So you write first two by how many columns are there? First column, second column, third column. So the order of this matrix is two by three. You observe this matrix. What is order of this matrix? How many rows are there? First row, second row. Two rows are there, two by. How many columns are there? First column, second column. So what is order of this matrix? Order of this matrix is two by two. You observe this. How many rows are there in this matrix? Only one row is there. One by how many columns are there? One, two, three. Three columns are there. What is the order of this matrix? Order of this matrix is one by three. Now the important one, the representation of a matrix. Many students confuse in representation of a matrix. How we represent a matrix? See, representation of a matrix. Whenever you see this type of notation, A equal to A i j of order m by n is a matrix. When they mention like this, it tells that this matrix contains m rows, n columns. And what is A i j? A i j is an element of a matrix. What is A i j? A i j is an element of a matrix which is present in ith row and jth column. You observe here. I am writing the element which is present in first row and first column. Then it is denoted like this A11. In the suffix we written 11. So A11 means it is an element present in first row and first column. You see here. Now observe what is this element. This element present in first row. It comes under second column. So this element is A12. Similarly A13. This is first row third column. If we go on, if we extend this further, this is which row? This is first row. How many columns are present in this? Here 1, 2, 3 like that. How many columns present? You observe this is a matrix with m rows and n columns. So how many columns will be there? n columns will be there. What is A1n? It represents this is the element present in first row and nth column. A13. A13 means what? It is an element present in first row and third column. Further, if I write this, this is which row? This is second row. So A2, this is which column? First column. This is A21. What is this? This is A22, second row, second column. Similarly, A23, second row, third column. Like that. What is this? A, second row, nth column. This is A2n. So similarly, we can extend this further. See, A, what you will get? A31, third row, first column, A41, like that. Total, how many rows are there in this matrix? Total, M rows are there in this matrix. So this is Mth row, A, Mth row, first column, A, M1. It's a Mth row, first column. You see, this is what, if we extend this further, this is which row? This is mth row and which column? Second column A m2. If we extend this further, this is which row? This is mth row. mth row, which column? Third column. So this is A m3. Further, if we extend this here, further, if we extend this, what you will get? This is the last element which is present in mth row and nth column. So if they are saying that A equal to A i j is a matrix of order m by n, then it looks like this. And you can observe that if a matrix is of order 3 by 2, if a matrix is of order 3 by 2, that means that matrix contains 6 elements like 3 into 2. So you can observe here 6 elements are there. Here this is the matrix of order m by n. Then how many elements will be present in this matrix? 
mn elements will be present in this matrix. I hope you understand this class.